Hello students, how are you? So this is lecture number four in which we will see the different microwaves micro signal properties. Okay, so let's start with the lecture. So if this is my YouTube channel, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to the channel. In which in the if you are going in the playlist, in the playlist you will find the microwave subject, micro engineering subject, uh, various videos which I have uploaded previously that you can watch over here and you can go with anywhere you can watch with the videos. Likewise, I have uploaded for EDC one if you want to enhance your knowledge again then you can go with the EDC subjects so a lot of sub, uh, lot of videos are there like DTSP videos are there you, so please go through the playlist of my channel so you will get every single update of this videos ok so we will start with so before we start I will ask you one question so what is the wavelength of microwave frequencies so what you have to do is just use the chat box and place your option as op answer number one that is nothing but 1 to 30 centimeter option number two that is 10 to 30 centimeter option number three that is 1 to 30 meters and option number four that is 10 to 30 meters okay these are the four options are there so what you have to do you have to use the chat box now I am watching the chat box and you have to answer your answer in that chat box itself so I am waiting for your answer I will give you 10 seconds Okay, let's use the chat box and uh, answer the question. The answer of this question I will give you in the last of the lecture, in the last slide. So put your answer in the chat box. Okay, so I am not giving you whose answer is correct and whose answer is not correct. So directly I will, what I will do? I will move forward ok so we have seen up till that we have seen the electromagnetic spectrum in which we have gone with the gamma ray that is the very it is having very what you can say a high uh, high frequency and we can say that is uh, uh, wavelength is very very small one ok very well, wavelength is small one but as far as this wavelength is small one we know that it, if wavelength is small then it is having uh, much much more energy uh, in containing itself because gamma rays can penetrate of a few centimeter of wall also okay keep in mind the gamma rays can penetrate through uh, different uh, few centimeter like uh, 10 to 20 centimeter wall is there it can penetrate that also x-rays can penetrate in your bone so x-rays we can use in the uh, different kind of detection like uh, sonography is there so they are using the uh, not uh, in the x-rays are used in the bone fractures to detect the bone fracture then in the the different kind of cancers like breast cancer is there so for detection of that one also x-rays are used so different uh, in different ways we are using the x-rays so ultraviolet rays we know that ultraviolet uh, rays are used for uh, which, uh, that is used for um, uh, what you can say uh, Sanitation, sanitizer, it can use for the sanitizer of uh, nowadays IIT Bombay had developed one sanitizer that is used for to sanitize different kind of mask we are using N95 mask then uh, PP kits are there so to sanitize that one we are using ultraviolet rays okay then visible rays what the waves which we can see the infrared waves we are normally using in our remote is, uh, if you want to turn on the TV channel, then turn on the ACs. Then if you want to change the channel of my TV, then I can go for the infrared best remote controls. Okay, then then whatever the afterwards is nothing but the micro signals are then television, uh, AM radio signal and long waves. So if we are going with this one, so here you will find that there is a uh, wavelength is increasing in this one ok so uh, as it is having less energy so we have seen we have compared this thing that is nothing but the uh, size of wavelength what kind of size of wavelength is there so if my frequency is more one the wavelength is less one so it is a water molecules and it is decreasing one the gamma rays and all that thing. so we have discussed in this thing last lecture ok so if you are not seen last lecture so previously I am saying that 
go to the playlist and watch the lecture number three so you are getting the a lot of concept regarding this one still you are having any doubt so you can personally text me on my whatsapp number so i will give you the answer or I'll, otherwise if the video is completed don't put your doubt in the chat box okay what will happen if the chat box will be chat will, will be vanish after this uh, live chat and if you are commenting in the comment box so comment box will be remember permanently so i can see what is your uh, doubt and i can ans answer in your comment box also okay if the doubt is not clear in the video so if you are without seeing the video if you are asking the doubt so what i'm suggesting that you have to see the, you have to watch the video first and then you have to go for the question answering okay directly if you are answering asking it's okay it's okay i know that is uh, definitely a tendency but what i am recommending that to 10 to 15 or up to half an hour if you lecture is there watch the lecture first and then we'll see what exactly this means okay we have seen this uh, what are the uses of a different l band and s band and c band x band ku band ku band that is 2 and ka band so what are different kind of applications and what is the frequency range of this uh, micro frequency okay so in the detail one we have seen this one l band s band c band ku band x band k band and k band so definitely we have seen this one up to d band we have seen so we'll see what exactly mean by this one so here is the answer of your question if you are not uh, correct if you are giving the uh, wrong answer then correct your answer so different books will give you different frequency range some books will give you 30 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz okay the 30 megahertz to 300 gigahertz is the range but some books are saying some are saying 1 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz okay that are both are correct but okay both are correct but if your range is of 1 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz so that frequency that wavelength is obviously 30 centimeter to 1 centimeter so the option number one is the correct i think so if i'm if i'm not correct just i will see okay the option number one is 1 to 30 centimeter is the correct one okay so depending on the frequency what kind of frequency you are taking so 300 megahertz if you are taking uh, 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz so different it will add one zero in this one. okay so wavelength so what i what it's saying that the wavelength is one centimeter to 30 centimeter if you are observing the if you are observing the web uh, the electron magnetic spectrum so i know that we know that that if my energy if my uh, wavelength is more one like uh, long waves long waves are there which are transmitting uh, for satellite waves we can say that okay long waves are there so if you are using the long waves so its energy is very very less okay energy is very very less if you, my wavelength is very very small the energy is very very more one okay so here what i am trying to say is the less wavelength the less wavelength indicates the more energy so it is having some kind of more energy over here they are uh, they are consists of more energy okay so this is the first property that the small size of wavelength okay large bandwidth okay large bandwidth what exactly mean by large bandwidth so bandwidth is nothing but the, from first frequency that is nothing but we if you are talking about 1 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz so what is the bandwidth of this signal is nothing but what you can say 30 gigahertz is the bandwidth okay so 29 gigahertz is the bandwidth of this signal so gigahertz i'm saying gigahertz okay megahertz and gigahertz so megahertz is nothing but 10 to 6 but gigahertz is nothing but 10 to 9 so this much bandwidth large bandwidth we are getting so first property is having small wavelength okay small wavelength then it second is nothing but large bandwidth so high data high transmission rate used for communication communication world's data the tv and telephone communications are transmitted long distances by microwave between ground station and communication satellite what i am trying to say is if i am having large bandwidth so the signal can transmit it from the ground stations so if i want to communicate from this uh, the place in the wellness uh, from our college to the washington in the us so directly it will not send the signals what i will do uh, my colleague my signal will send to my bts first bts they is nothing but uh, we said that it is in few kilometers away from our uh, my mobile itself mobile device itself. 
transmissible device. So what you will do, you will communicate with that first. So from this tower, the signal will send to the another next tower. So in between that, whatever the signals are transmitted, so that two signals are there, two towers are there, that might be at far distance, that is nothing but 20-30 kilometers or 10-15 kilometers away from that one. So the signals will be transmitted from that one. Okay. Likewise, the TV signals are transmitted. So if you remember in your childhood, uh, the table, television uh, phones are not there. Okay. So right now we are having uh, different DTH, direct to home services. That is from satellite to your TV, directly signals are transmitted. It's okay. So large bandwidth is required for that because we are having a lot of signals are there. Near about, you know, if you are talking about the TV, so TV is having, having some 300, 400 signals and generalize I am talking okay, not fixed amount. Okay, normally I am saying. Normally means what? Exactly that is its value is increasing or decreasing. It I am saying 300 or 400 signals are there. So it's an audio audio signals are there. So each channel is required a large bandwidth. So to 300, 400 requires a lot of bandwidth. So that's why we are using micro frequencies. Okay. So this is the second property. The third property is nothing but the line of sight propagation. Li what is exactly mean by line of sight propagation? So line of sight indicates what the transmitter must be visible to the receiver. Okay, suppose this is earth and the transmitter must be directly in contact with the receiver. So this is nothing but the line of sight propagation. Okay. So like this one, it can be happen from antenna. This is antenna, this is antenna and this is earth. So transmission can be happen like this one. So this is nothing but the line of sight propagation. So you have, again I am asking you the question. So in case of infrared, okay, infrared communication is there. Okay, means I am switching on my TV. So is it required a line of sight or not? If yes, then you have to comment in the comment box. Yes, infrared required a line of sight. If no, infrared doesn't require a line of sight. You can mention your comment in your comment box. Okay, I am watching the comment, but I will not answer you right now. Okay. So you can mention. I will wait for five seconds. Okay. So this is again line of sight communication. So first, uh, this BTS will transcend to second, second will third, third to fourth, and this will communication will happen entire over the whole world. Suppose this is the main session of India. This will transmitted to Pakistan again. This will again transmitted again again, and we are transmitting to the Europe like this one. The transmission will happen. Okay, the characteristic, the fourth characteristic is so transmission through ionosphere. Okay, so what I exactly mean by ionosphere is there? So a lot of transmitting signal or trans receivers are there on the earth that will transmit the data from this station directly to the uh, what you can say um, satellites. Okay, satellites are there. So what I am saying, higher frequencies can pass through the higher layers. So suppose this is a D layer, this E layer, this F layer and uh, something F2 E layer. So if I want to transmit the signal, if my, if I am having less energy, so it can't pass through the different layers. So this will, if my signal is less one, it will pass through this one. The signal is less one, so what will be, the signal will go up to this and this will return to this place. Okay, this will, signal will go and up to pass. But as frequency is increasing, so it will go on for penetrating. Suppose I am placing my satellite over here, okay, some um, weather broadcasting satellite. So if I want to know whether in the Guhagar uh, today rainfall will well happen or not. So if I place a satellite over here, okay, over here and I am having this less frequency, less frequency, like that is nothing but I am using uh, 30 megahertz signal. What will happen? The signal will go like this one and it will won't go for this one. So, so if my signal is equal to 100 megahertz, so then and then it can pass through this one. Okay, so before I am saying to what exactly mean by anosphere, we will see in detail. Okay, so so this is the given in the kilometer the distance between Earth and our atmosphere. So 0 to 1 planetary boundary layer is there. Okay, so up to this, this layer is nothing but my troposphere. So Mount Everest, we can say that 8848 kilometer is the 8848 meter is the. Uh, what you can say? It's height near about. Then if we say the planes are uh, flying over here. Then in between mesosphere and stratosphere, we will find the ozone layer, which will 
which will protect us from the harmful radiation of uh, the radiated by the sun so that is in between these 20 to 40 kilometers in between that one was something is there so ionosphere is exactly over here near about what you can say in between 90 or 8 exactly between 80 about something and uh, less than 600 kilometer you will find ionosphere so ionosphere is divided into different parts so, the thermosphere is there so if and the satellites are here near about thousands of kilometers if you know the satellites uh, that is called as geo geosynchronous satellites okay geosynchronous satellites that are used for the communication purpose so that are nothing but the 36,000 kilometer above the earth can you imagine 36,000 kilometer above the earth okay so if I want to transmit the signal from my this thing suppose the normally my antenna size is of 500 meter not more than that one okay just 500 meter so if I want to send the signal to this end to the 36,000 kilometer, so the frequency is more one then then signal can pass through such kind of and the second thing is that the earth's uh, gravity is also there. So we know that there are two kinds of frequency, uplink frequency and downlink frequency are there. So for uplink we require a higher frequency and for downlink because it will go with Oh, it will attract it by the earth gravity so it is having a lower frequency itself okay so ionosphere is like this one so we need quite a high frequency that is the thing but some our uh, microwave frequency okay so what you have to keep in mind that as frequency is increasing the signal will transmit more distance okay more distance exactly. okay. then so transmission through the ionosphere same signal is there so if i want to transmit from this end to this end so if my frequency is less one so it will go it will touch ionosphere and it will deflect one if my frequency is not that one so this one important property is there that signal will not what you can say observed by anything my micro signals are there that, that whatever you do they will get reflected if i am sending this one they will be reflected and they will because if I'm sitting in my class, there is no line of sight in between me and uh, what you can say, uh, the mobile tower itself. But still I'm communicating, still I'm communicating by using my phone. So why it is happening? Because that signal will transmit it and this will reflect it back from some wall because college has a wall. So deflected get and deflected, deflected and at last I'm getting the signal. Okay. So this is some kind of I'm um, transmitting through ionosphere. Uh, this is something. So this is the opacity I'm saying. The atmosphere opacity. Opacity is nothing but what how that will penetrate. It will not uh, what you can say. It will penetrate. And here I'm saying, suppose from 0 0.1 nanometer to up to 100 nanometer here, you will not say here the opacity is 100 percent. Okay, opacity is 100 percent. But from this end to this end, the opacity is what you can say visible due to visible light. Visible light, opacity, visible light due to, from this end to this end, you will find the visible light over here. Then again, from this end to this end, the visibility is 100% again. Opacity is 100% from this end. So you will find the change in the opacity of different. But for visible light, it is completely uh, opposite. Means it will, what you can say, send the signals. Okay. So. Gamma rays, X rays, ultraviolet rays, lights are blocked by the upper atmosphere based observed from the space. So, due to which, what will happen? From this lens, uh, the signal will get, or, or what you can say, uh, it will block by the our layer itself. Okay, and this will pass one. So, from this one, and whatever the Earth's, uh, what you can say, this signal in between this one, they are completely get back to the Earth. These signals are there, and this again long waves are blocked by the first one. Okay, so we'll move to the next slide. Okay, so the next characteristic is reflection from the metallic surfaces. So this is the horn antenna. Okay, this is the horn antenna, and this is the metallic surface is there. So if I'm sending my signal from this end to this end, uh, here is the uh, suppose this is my receiver and this is my uh, transmitter. So if I'm sending the signal from this end. But uh, these are the metallic contacts are there, metallic uh, structure is there, horn antenna is there, this is the uh, full reflector. If I am sending the signal from this end and this end, they are 90 degree apart from this end. But still the signal will go like this one and reflected get back and receive that descent. Okay. 
so we'll say that uh, in the microwave oven we know that microwave oven is there so what will happen in the microwave suppose this is uh, some kind of object is there suppose uh, pizza i want to bake a pizza okay so this must be uh, contain some liquid structure okay liquid must be there some kind of water must be there in the liquid. so moisture something there what will, what will happen the micro energy then this paddle this turntable is there that will rotate continuously so it will generate the frequency normally we are using micro magnetron over here magnetron will send so this signal will go like this one and this will get reflected this will get reflected this will get reflected and we know that micro signals are there if they are traveling from the water molecule so they will release the energy okay so if it is having water molecules the object is having water molecules so energy will get absorbed by this one that's why the pizza the samosa and all that we are that baked inside the microwave so today we will stop over here so how was the lecture you can mention in the comment box please like the session so thank you very much for attending my lecture thank you very much